Previously on In My 20s, I cleaned up my space and I journaled some inspiration. Small things, but things that would compound. So last week we really nailed down changing some of the systems and habits in my life so that we could make big compound changes over time. But this week I was actually going to fly to LA to visit some of my friends and I thought we might as well make episode three all about friendships in your 20s. Because even though I'm only 21, you know, I have not been in my 20s for very long, I have noticed that a lot of things are different and I'm learning so much so quickly quickly and I kind of wish someone would have uh, given me a heads up on this stuff. So I was flying in meeting up with Ryan and Zach who were already filming some videos there and I thought I would show you the friendships that I have quite honestly recently formed and get some of their advice on relationships in your 20s and just kind of explore some of these ideas because friendship low-key really hard in your 20s and just in general. <laughs> Do you want a steady shot or walking? I'm in the land of dreams. Broken dreams. City of angels. But I'm not here to chase my dreams. I'm here to chase my friends. Whoa! Woo! 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 Friendship! Now that I was actually settled in, it was time to go meet up with the pals. And uh, I'll try to introduce you to them as best as I can, but it's just a big friend group with the revolving door, so it's hard to even introduce everyone. Hello. We're road tripping to Malibu, and I'm gonna introduce you to some new buddies here. The whole reason I fly here. I actually have no idea who's gonna be there. This is a interesting group, and sometimes I meet new people. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now Is this your new vlog camera? <laughs> yeah. If only you oh. could see yourself right now. If only you could see yourself, how small it is. How silly you look. I feel like it's from the 80s. <laughs> okay, Haley, what are we doing? Nice Yeah, holy crap. What are we doing? Hi. I'm Haley. Good morning, girly pops. Oh, just ripped my hair out. It's the second day in LA, so I'm gonna show you my life when I'm here. Cause I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have been flying out here a bit more because I never really had an interest in LA at all. And then I randomly got blessed with a friend group here. So now I come here all the time. It's such a random event that we met and that this all happened. So I think it would be fun to talk about friendship with all of them, ask their experiences with friendship. But Ryan is also here with me cause he was already here filming some YouTube videos. So I came and met up with him and now we're all hanging out. I'm gonna get ready for the day and then I'm gonna go on a breakfast date with Ryan and then get blue bottle coffee and then we'll see what we get up to today. If we're gonna talk about friendship, I guess we should talk about my ultimate best friend. Ryan and I actually started as friends. We didn't date right away and we actually met each other through a friend. Would you look at that? I know it's very cheesy. They always say be best friends with your partner, but it's true because one day we're gonna be wrinkly and old and we're just gonna be besties for the absolute resties. And I can't wait for that. I feel so lucky that he's in my life. Okay, the music is inspiring me to be cheesy. Okay, let's move on. Blue Mmm, sweet ice latte. I have a caffeine headache from not having it. It's like the apple of coffee companies. Be gone, caffeine headache. Okay, we're gonna go meet up with Bream and do some Bible studying. What is that, bro? <laughs> This is weird because it seems like a voiceover because I'm watching you say these words. If you walk out and you start oh. talking and then you like come forward and then I film you, it's gonna be like, whoa. Right, I have no idea what that means. Oh my gosh, you can hear yourself too. Whoa, say something? What? <laughs> okay, it didn't work what that is well. <laughs> Hi, would you consider us friends? No. <laughs> so I guess now would be a good time to give you some context on how I met these people in LA because it's very strange. It's not really from social media, but kind of is. Basically over the summer, I had started praying every single day for a community with Christian friends. And I already knew a guy named Frankie because of one of Ryan's videos that he filmed with him. And so Ryan and I were visiting LA one day and we decided to just pop over at Frankie's place and little Miss Bree was sitting on the couch and I met Bree. And meeting Bree was literally an answered prayer. I have not met someone so in tune 
moon emotionally, creatively, spiritually, literally on every wavelength I feel like we match and it's just absolutely crazy. And then I met Mitchell and Josh and all these other people and I just uh, realized, hey, this was the answered prayer. This was the Christian community that I was praying for and we just started fostering the friendship. You know, it's obviously long distance, so that kind of sucks, but I've visited multiple times. Brie has visited me and I just, I love them so much, so much it hurts. But it's just crazy to see this prayer answered because when it comes to like, how do you make friends? I don't know what to tell you because how I met them is so random. I literally just prayed for it and I knew one person and it had this huge domino effect. Now Spock is doing this voiceover. <laughs> Would you consider us twin flames? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like not myself when I first meet people. <laughs> Half a year later. I just like, I get a little bit shy. No, I'm just role playing like meeting someone for the first time. Oh, okay. Friendships. When you first hear that word, what's something you think of? That's so cliche, but like trust. Like you oh. actually like want to like trust, I don't know, the people that you're friends with. But I think of a lot of people, if that makes sense. Am I up? Number what or like what's the rank? Like I definitely have a giant ranking. <laughs> <laughs> you have it in your notes app. Who's your favorite? No, I have in, the, in my notes app who would be my bridesmaids. <gasps> really? Yeah, and I've had it since 2019. <laughs> You're actually in December's as well. Cause I knew when we met, I was like, oh, she's gonna be a good friend of mine. Like I knew it. Something I wish I was told was that in your 20s, people's lives are changing so much. So don't be offended when people move, decide to have babies, start a new career path. There are just so many moving parts. And that's normal. It'll be true for your life too. Haley's third wheeling. Literally. Oh. oh my gosh. She's famous. She's famous. Hold hands for the camera. Ah, stop doing it now. Day three in LA. Coffee run check. One, two, one, two. Came back with a little more than coffee. How did y'all become friends? We just did that one time. We did it one time, we never met before, never spoke, and then we did a high five one time, and then yeah. Another thing, friendships take work. You gotta make plans with them. Especially if you're in the building stage and you don't know many people, you're gonna have to be uncomfortable and put in the effort to go and just make plans with these people and get to know them. And then notice how you feel after hanging out with them. Energized or drained? Did they make you do something that you didn't really want to do? Or did they encourage you to be a better person? Just take notice of those little things. It'll tell you a lot. So we just had a dance party. Don't move, don't move, don't move. The lighting's good. Oh, he moved. Uh, pickleball. I've never actually played, actually. I'm vlogging in a car full of people, I'm the only one talking. Hey, you, do, you should do a review of these we can all uh, Coca-Cola okay. Tic Tacs. I'm gonna try these Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. Oh, oh all of them, you literally ate all of them. You wanna try? There's none left. The Coke one's good. I don't like the aftertaste. I could throw mm -hmm. up right now. If I throw up, it's Ryan's fault, I'm throwing up in his hands. Cool. Just for context, it's 9 p.m. Next to me here is Mitchell, and over there is Mary. And my relation to Mitchell and Mary is about six months of friendship. Six, months six strong. give or take a one or two or five. And if I had to rank closeness of friendship, they rank extremely high for when I come to LA. So there's your context. Ooh, yes. Did you I, guys think I was gonna say medium level? I, I was gonna hope you were gonna rank us like out I of each was, other. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I kind of thought you were gonna do that too. But I was like, I was, <laughs> I was confident. Is it going? Yeah. <laughs> hey. 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 Oh. Ew. Okay. I don't like that. Sorry. I kind of enjoy it. I can probably stand here okay. and have the camera in front of my face for hours. I'm really full. I look like stuff. I'm from Horton oh, yeah. Hears a Who. Just our channel. No. No, thank you. Ooh, we made it. You know how you just meet some people and you just get along with them instantly? Yeah, what is that? Okay, that's an interesting topic. Yeah. Some people you meet and you just know mm -hmm. you're gonna be friends with them mm -hmm. for like real, real, real friends. Mm -hmm. And some people you meet and it's not bad, but you know it's gonna take some work or like you're gonna have to try it out a few more times to see if you would actually be friends with them. Yeah, I don't think, okay, I think people get upset at that of like, oh, yeah. but you're like judging by it, but you're not. It's not judging book by its cover. You have a genuine connection to someone, I think, sometimes, yeah. and you just know. It's like when you don't feel like you have to think of the next thing to say yeah. or like if there's, Silence, you're like, oh no, like, they hate me, like, oh my gosh. I love the comfortable silence. Yeah, but I feel like when you reach comfortable silence immediately, you're like, oh, yes. what the heck, like, this is, like, meant to be, like, a friendship in my life. That's the sign. I think, I think it is. Get it out. I'm heading out. Hey. I 
love you. Look at this kid. No, no, no look at him. Keep the camera on me. Keep it on me. More attention for me. Affirmation right now. Encouragement. To put 10 encouragements about me right in the screen right now. What's up, YouTube? Thank you. Thank you. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Let me level with you guys right quick. I haven't had much alone time with you guys. I've been vlogging every clip in front of other people, meaning these clips are slightly not myself. Slightly me nervous. But now I'm just in the car with Ryan, so now I'm nervous. Aww. <laughs> it's a new day, getting a blue bottle again. And then I'm gonna go on a coffee date with Mary. And then we're gonna go to a Love Shack Fancy gifting event. I've never done a gifting event. I wanted to do something intentional with a friend today, hence the approaching coffee date. Blue bottle has been acquired. I get the New Orleans style with oat milk. It's actually a cold brew, and it's not a dessert like I usually get my coffees. So I think I'm maturing, taste buds wise. You see, Mary and I are friends, but we've never actually spent one-on-one -on -one time together. Together. So we wanted to actually foster that relationship to go even deeper and I'll tell you a secret We did that successfully. Hi, Mary B. <laughs> Haley B. What's your advice for friendship? Um, be selfless. Okay, sweet. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I just successfully did my first gifting suite and it was with Love Shack Fancy, which I am very honored by. So now I have a little dress and Easter's right around the corner, so I'm so excited. But that was nice and fun learning experience, right, Mary B? Yeah, it was so cute. We didn't know what to do because- I did not know what to like, do. Yeah, there's no checkout process and you also don't, there's no check in. So I'm like, do they know I'm not a stranger? They're just like <laughs> taking their clothes. And then there's no like, oh, do you take one? Do you take five pieces? But we did it successfully. It was awkward, but we got through it. Now I feel like an LA influencer. I learned my first time. I would say we were good together. I would say we had fun. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Oh my. What is some friendship advice? I would say probably something I've learned the most recently is that just because a friend hasn't reached out to me in a while doesn't mean that they don't value me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can still make the effort towards them. Yeah, and so for me, I realized like since I can't reach out to everybody, I know my friends like still know that I love them. And so I also have to keep reminding myself like it's okay, like I can reach out to my friends and it's actually healthy to like put yourself out there. And yeah. that's a great way to make new friends. Instagram yes. DMs. Friendship like guys. She's encouraging me. She's rebuking me. Just kidding. She's not rebuking me. Anyway, what you really came here for? <laughs> <laughs> say three, two, one. I love friendship. I love. Wait, you didn't say three, two, one. Three, two, three, two, one. Two, one. I, I love friendship. <laughs> that night we actually had a little ladies Bible study. Chartboard. Look up, girls. Look up. Look up, your crowns are falling, chins up ladies. Where you guessed it, we got to meet new friends. I know it's scary, but go to an event near you. At a church, a soccer club, I don't know. You gotta go to something to make friends. This is not good boy. Let's see, see you, you later. later. And then play See You Again by Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa. Oh, It's been oh, a long, long time. time. Without oh, it's gonna get copyrighted. It's always the saddest goodbye, leaving them. But I do have friends back home, of course. And I thought Bella might actually have a very interesting perspective on how to make friends in college. <clears throat> okay, girl. You're almost done with your first year of college. Oh, <laughs> we're getting right in. Okay, well, I remember your experience going to college. It was scary at first, because you literally didn't know anyone, and it was very uncomfortable. And then you started to make friends, but you didn't feel very known by them. But now you're chilling and you have friends. So I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Like, how did you fix that? A huge thing is just make yourself go. You have to go to things. It's inevitable that there are other people that don't want to be there just as much as you don't want to be there. And then y'all are gonna talk about how y'all both don't want to be there. And then you're gonna become friends because y'all don't, both don't want to be there. And then you're gonna end up talking about other things naturally. Even for spring break, I wanted to go home and do nothing on spring break. And I made myself try to sign up for this trip and, and go with all these people. And like, that was such a game changer in taking really surface level relationships and making them deeper and like spending that time together. It's tough out there. It's for tough us. in college, out of college. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, it's all like the second that you graduate high school friends like that was just on default mm -hmm. mode like you were just like presented friends I feel like my whole entire life and now it's like everybody is going their own ways and has their own things that they have going on in their life There's not that common denominator of like we're all in algebra 2 right now And then maybe one day like you'll have an eight-year-long friendship like me and I Nine year no. Oh Wow, I'm just feeling so grateful for friendship and I pray all of you guys find beautiful friendships that turn you into even more beautiful people. And honestly, my favorite thing about friendship is that each person shows you a different side of yourself. I'm grateful for all y'all. Let's go make some friends. Hey, I don't have any friends. I'd love to be friends with you.